Hello, my name's Melissa. I am a self-taught nail tech. I've been practicing for about nine months and I'm slowly but surely learning. If you see the set that I have on now, this is what I'm going to show you guys in real time. Just the basic ombre is the biggest part that I've been having a difficult time with. I work with hard gel. I've tried the dip kit, but gel polish and different art is something that I've been trying to specialize in is freehand artwork. But something that is super duper popular right now is ombre nails. So <clears throat> in order to have the ability to do just about anything that my clients that I have right now want, I needed to practice as much as possible with ombre. Therefore, I want to show you guys the best technique, which actually Miss Jo, I follow her on YouTube and she's from the UK and she does some amazing, amazing work. And I have been looking and looking and looking and she showed me the best way to do it. Now, what you need is your two colors or three colors or four colors, however many you need. This is my fantastic little workspace that um, I just randomly pick out lots of different stuff and then just figure it out as I go. I'm probably not the only one. I am, this is not my first video, but one of my better, hopefully set up visually videos. So hopefully you guys like it. So for me, I use a lot of Beatles nail polish to when I was beginning. So that is what I'm going to be using today is Beatles colors, um, uh, some glitters that I mix together, and most of those I probably got from Amazon. And my top coat, I use Young Nails, and that's been my go-to lately is Young Nails brands when it comes down to their hard gels and their top coat is amazing. So if you haven't tried out Young Nails, I definitely recommend. And for beginner nail polish, definitely Beatles. Beatles is a great, good coverage as you can see. This is only two coats and it's got some great coverage. So. Let's start out with our base coat. Let's see, I I just did my dominant hand, so I'm going to be using my left hand on this, so bear with me. I am not ambidextrous, but I have been getting better at using my left hand when I do my own nails. So base coat is essentially going to if you're a beginner like me oh i got it in the well of my finger unfortunately um if you're a beginner like me i didn't really realize why i was supposed to be using my base coat but what it does is it actually and i'm going to go ahead and cure that while i'm chatting um what it does is it makes it so your gel polish goes on smoother and it gives it more of a professional look and it it uh i want to say it enhances or it makes the colors brighter just because they're gonna the pigments are going to show up a lot better so 60 seconds while I do this. So uh, just to let y'all know, I'm from Oregon. I had their original shutdown just like everybody else did for COVID. So I decided to start learning how to do my own nails. I almost gave up until I ran into a friend. She showed me how to do the acrylic dip kit. And then as I got more advanced with the dip kit, then I found myself falling into the hard gel and hard gel is my favorite 
and it has no smell so in my small home I can use that and I it is definitely tricky to work with if you have not worked with it before I will definitely do a video on that soon um, right now I have I am using my blender to boost my phone so I can actually give you guys a good view of my work so when I, I have something coming in from Amazon and that's going to uh, give me a thing that holds my phone and I can move it around and then it won't be so ridiculous. But for now, this is what you get. All right, so very first thing that Miss Jo had showed me is you put a good amount on your nail. You want to... Um, don't worry about perfection on your first coat. You're just going to want to make sure you get around your, um, not hitting your cuticles. You want a, a decent amount, um, on it because you're going to be floating it down your nail. So... I love using my left hand. I really honestly should have just used my other hand, but I didn't plan on doing a video today. I have a friend of mine who said that I need to start doing videos so I can start getting people to follow me and watch my journey as, you know, uh, there's so many people, as you see, I'm kind of just floating some of this down, just kind of give it taking some of it off because you don't want too much but at the same time you need just enough to work with when you put your second color so I am I'm actually doing some kind of a mermaid type theme hence the glitter the ombre I'm gonna add more detail work as I go um, but this is the beginning of what I'm doing for my nails. So you want to take a good amount on your bottom or on the tip, actually the free edge, and you push it up. And if you're pushing it up, you're not going to get it on your brush. But if you do, just go ahead and wipe, wipe it off so you don't contaminate your bottle with another color. And kind of get as much as you can. And then actually want to go in a little bit more with the purple. The, the great thing about doing this on real time is it kind of shows you what we all struggle with as beginners on time. And... That's something that a lot of us as beginners, we say, oh my gosh, it takes me forever to do this. It, you, <laughs> art takes time sometimes. And if you do a lot of freehand stuff, then that's going to take, it's a process and you're never going to be able to just be perfect all in the moment. And honestly, I, you a lot of us, we talk about it, and if you're an aspiring nail tech, which I am, I will be going to school here soon, and I plan on opening a salon, and time is definitely of the essence. You've got people who are going to come in, and they want to have their stuff done quickly, and in order to do so, you need to learn and to be faster and have better time management. But with certain things, it takes time. So I created my own brush. Can you see this? It is very ridiculous. So it was a one of those brushes that fan out, which I have, let's see, I have another one. I'll bring it out and show you what it originally looks like so this is what it originally looks like I just took a lot of that part off and cut it down and just made these giant gaping uh, 
indents in the brush and kind of created it. Now you can find other tools to ombre. Um, excuse me. Uh, you can find other tools to ombre with, but I chose this one and it's actually working really well because there's this like giant, if you can see it, there's this like big gap right there in the middle and it's actually causing it to ombre, I feel like, better. So I'm going to get a little closer so you can kind of see a little bit better. <clears throat> So I have already previously used this, so you can see how there's blue and purple on each side. And then you're just gonna take and you're gonna swoop back and forth. Uh, this is a lot harder with my non-dominant hand, but we're gonna just swoop back and forth. You're gonna bring the purple up a little bit. You're gonna bring the blue down a little bit. Now, the lighter your hand, the better it's going to be. But like I said, don't worry about the very first one. You're going to be fine. So. Okay. So this is how my first layer is going to be. And you can see there's a lot of marks where the brush was. Unfortunately, I'm using my left hand like a nerd. And I should have probably done my dominant hand because it's a little easier to show you. But, I mean, hey, the struggle is real when you are doing your own nails. And say you're not even an aspiring nail artist and you just like doing your own. You're, you're just going to have to practice and learn to use your left hand or your right hand, whatever handed you are, and uh, make it work. Um, so 60 seconds in the light, uh, in most cases, uh, for these people that are beginners, Amazon gives you a lot of options for lighting. Uh, you definitely don't want a super low wattage light, but you don't want a really high wattage light because, and honestly, I've been using Star. This one is the one that I like the most because it starts out with, I haven't figured out the setting on the 120, but it starts off at 120. It goes to... 99 seconds, 60 seconds, 30 seconds, 10 seconds. And when you start it at 99 or 60 seconds, it starts at a different kind of heat level. If you start it at 99 seconds, starts at one heat level. And once it gets to 60, it goes to a second heat level and then a third heat level and then a fourth. So when you're using like a builder gel and stuff like that, you're not going to have these huge heat spikes when you start off at a lower wattage but you don't want too low wattage. Um, I probably going to invest into the Young Nails one just because they're similar. Either that or I'm gonna get another one of these because I'm really liking this lamp a lot. Okay, so to get back to the ombre, you're gonna to wanna to go back through and do the same exact thing and don't worry if you're getting some of the purple in where the blue is because this is the beauty of the ombre. And with this nail, I it doesn't have to be perfect anyways because I'm putting glitter over it. Because we're going to try and do some. So I'm still not completely positive what I'm going to do on that middle finger. Um... I was thinking about actually drawing scales on the middle finger, which is pretty fun, fairly easy to do. Um, and I may do part two on this video when I do the scales, but I'll use my dominant hand. So you guys aren't all over here going, man, this girl over here, she don't know what she's doing. <clears throat> so. 
you want to make sure you get the dominant purple side closest and then just do the same exact thing that you did before but try and get this purple in the blue and okay that works there we go you want to get the right motion oh yeah that's much better and you can always see there we go it's a pretty decent fade now you're still going to have some of those lines in there um if you let your finger sit before you cure it in the light some of those lines will actually even themselves out because it's gel tends to be fairly forgiving with the self leveling while i'm letting that sit i'm going to do my thumb because that's going to be the second one that is that color and then i can be one step ahead with the curing process I am going to do one more coat over this nail because I would like to have a little bit more blend, but make sure any little oopsies on the side. Yeah, you can go ahead and fix them later or you can buff them off. I don't know if you've ever been into a salon before and you've kind of just seen like the little bit of oopsie that they did and you just buff it off with a little buffer as long as you're not getting your nail you're good to go um now with the glitter encapsulation which i or the glitter on top i am going to show you an encapsulated with a clear builder gel uh, rather than doing just gel polish now miss joe she did a video similar with these uh, with this type of glitter on top she pressed it down and i'll show you how i do that before i move along and finish the video um, but she pressed them down and then she put a gel top coat over it buffed it then top coated it again now you can do that which I've never tried that before. I usually encapsulate any of my glitters. Uh, I find that it's a little more on the safe side, I guess, but, ooh, look at me go. Try not to get out of the lines. Try not to get in the well of your nail. You can, you can really do anything with ombre when it comes down to it. I, as I get better with this technique, I will do a video using black and white. That is definitely a goal. I'm going to start uploading videos more often and hopefully I get some people to follow me and we can kind of just learn together. Um, you can tell me things that you would like me to try or like me to do or whatever it may be. And uh, there's a lot of things that I have learned that I'm actually kind of good at. And since I'm just now starting to upload YouTube videos, things will come out of the woodwork and you will see more. And tonight I'm a little off, so you'll have to forgive me. On the just a little bit boring chit chatty, but I've been watching Miss Joe tonight and just kind of thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna try and upload a video freehand in it. I don't have any videography lessons or anything, so I'm just gonna record it and upload it for you guys. Hopefully, you like it. All right, see, there we go. And where when that is curing. Or before I cure that one, I'm going to do my thumb. Boop. Thumb. And I did the thumb the same. The middle I did opposite. So we're going to do the thumb because it's the same routine. You start with the purple. Then you go from purple 
to blue or teal, whatever you want to call it. You, if you want to be the color police, go ahead. Be the color police. But for me, I'm just going to take and get as much. And for me, I'm, I'm su super picky. I'm not going to do it in the video because that would be really boring. Uh, to watch and this is already probably fairly boring in the first place um, But I really hope that you guys realize that This ombre technique is Easier if you use this way in my opinion. I found it's easier if I use this way than any other way now, I've tried many other ways, <laughs> but just using this brush is saving me so much. And boom. And I went a little bit further down with the, uh, the, with the purple than I wanted to, but in the end, it'll work out. So I'm not worried about it. And if you notice, there's quite a bit on the end here, which if you are a, um, if you're feeling like that's too much, then go ahead and fix it. And I always take like this little brush and I put it in a little bit of my swipe that I got from Young Nails. And just clean the edge a little bit if you feel like you're a little off and before you cure it. It's the best way to go in my opinion. You can also use acetone. Um, you want to make sure that you don't use too much acetone though. Because uh, it can just completely fade into your coloring and then spread the coloring of your gel polish out, which that's actually another technique to do the marbling effect. All right, make sure you get your free edge uh, once you get down to your last time, which this other nail is going to be my last time. And I'm going to get the free edge at the very end. You don't want to clump too much on, so be very careful with that. All right, so here we go again. Real time, oh, real time with lots of purple at the end. Uh, okay, left-handed is not as easy as it looks. Well, this doesn't look very easy anyways. I swear I'm more, more fluid with my other hand. But like I said, this doesn't need to be perfect. I usually try and start doing my nails with my dominant hand. Okay, so we're going to cure this. I usually try and start with my left hand because then by the time you get to your dominant hand, then you're like satisfied or maybe you even already just know what the hell you're doing. Because in my personal opinion, I don't know about you, but I'll sit for hours and just try and figure out what the hell I'm going to do. And this took me forever to figure out what I was going to do. But, and I'm still not completely satisfied with uh, what all I'm going to add to it. So we'll figure it out and I'll probably go ahead and do another video for you while I'm up. It is... Um, I don't know what time it is. It is definitely in the a.m. where I'm at. I'm on the West Coast. Where are you? Go ahead and comment in the bottom and let me know where you're at and where you're watching. If this video is helpful, if you think I'm horrible, keep your shit to yourself, please. No drama. Uh, let's see. All right. So we're on the second coat of my ombre. I'm going 
going to do, make sure that I do a little extra. If you notice, boop, boop, boop. if you notice when you do this technique that you're not getting the right, like for me, the lines aren't going to make a huge difference. Like the little bits of imperfection aren't going to make a difference on two of my nails because there's uh, glitter over it. So you're not going to be able to see that. But when it comes down to having a perfect ombre, you're going to want to be really light handed with your tool that you're using. You can use, you don't have to create a funky little brush like I have. In fact, I can use other brushes and, and do the same effect. You can even use a regular um, ombre brush, which is this one. I just find that this one is so fine that it doesn't really pull my gel polish the way that I want it to. But you can also use just a thicker uh, brush like this and do the same technique. In fact, I'll just, I'll use this and just kind of show you. Uh, this is not how I like it. Okay, see what I mean? Yeah, no, not so much that one. That's why I like my brush. We will fix that because it's not cured. You go like this and go back and forth through. This is much better and it's creating a much better ombre. And it looks prettier. <laughs> yes, much better. Da, 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 da. C. I like that better. The other one kind of like if you're doing somebody else's nails it will work you can do somebody else's nails with a different tool and you're coming from the front so it's your swiping motion and everything like that will be on point um sorry excuse me i always put brushes in my mouth because it's just the way i roll <clears throat> I'm sure that all of you wonderful nail artists tend to do the same, similar. Uh, so, we're going to do, before I cure this thumb, it's giving it time to set, which this is a great way to practice as you're doing more than, if you're doing more than one, it gives that time to kind of set and let's gel separate. I'm going to do my last coat of ombre. Now try not to do too thick on your very last coat if you're putting anything over it like me. Because of the way that I'm doing this technique, I am actually using a makeup. Ooh, push that blue teal. Oh, don't mind my dog in the background. He's not crying. He is sleeping. And apparently dreaming. I have a golden retriever. And he is a sweet boy. He must be dreaming. All right, so we're doing this last layer. And you can pull that purple in as much as you like. You can pull the blue in down. And these are two very different colors. So as you see, it's I'm actually creating a very pretty center of fade. And despite the difference of the colors. It's very shining. This camera is a fairly decent camera, but I am thinking when I have a little bit different lighting, maybe. Mm. 
Nope, that's worse. Nope. I don't know. That's probably not so great. Ah. Okay. So, there we go. That's a little bit better. See how it's kind of pulled in together? All right. So now, for the fancy part, now there's plenty of ways that you can do this, but I am just taking a regular makeup brush that I really don't care about. I have thousands of them, it seems like, um, especially with doing nail art. I have already previously used it, so it's actually going to be great because it's going to pull up the glitter because it's a little bit tacky on the brush, and I'll clean the brush later. So you just take and put your stuff on the nail despite it not being cured yet. Now you can cure it, use the tacky layer, put it on. I just said screw it, let's just put it directly on the um, final coat. I just did this mixture of color and created my own mixture of a bunch of different glitters and I thought that it looks fantastic. All right, and so when you find that you have enough, now mind you, I did a mixture of fine glitter and chunky glitter, which in my opinion worked out better with what I wanted. Uh, just a teeny bit more on top. There we go. Okay. So then I took my silicone brush and took the end of that and kind of flatten these pieces out as much as you can. Flatten them out so despite the fact that I am going to encapsulate them with builder gel if you didn't want to do that, which you can use builder in a bottle if you are not confident in using the pots and feel like this is going to be way more scary, which it can be if you don't practice with it for a while, but that's going to be just as any other thing. So I flatten that a lot and I'm going to stick that in the lamp. And then we'll do one more top of the, mind my arm, sorry, this is like the worst video in the world. So this is my wonderful nail area. I've got two lamps. I've got way tons, lots of glitter. So pretty. My little area. It has been a work in progress, that's for sure. Um, I think we all have had our fair share of craziness so far, this COVIDness, and uh, this is what I've been doing to keep myself sane. What have you been doing to keep yourself sane? Anything interesting? New new hobbies? Anything at all? Alright, we're going to do the thumb again. And you're going to take a fair amount. You want to get all these nice little pigments to pop and if you're satisfied with the ombre by your second coat you don't have to do a third coat that last nail I just kind of wanted to do one more this one I have a feeling two coats is going to be enough because I'm seeing some really bright colors and 
I feel like, yeah, it's going to be good. Ooh. Get it all up to the tip of there. Okay, yeah, these pigments are very bright. All right, take your fancy dancy, my fancy dancy uh, brush that I kind of mutilated, I want to say, but whatever, it's working. Do your sweeping. Make sure that you get the blue in and sweep that down. That's kind of the key. It's just really fading them into one another. Okay, yeah, no, I definitely like that one. So that turned out good. I'm going to call that good. I'm going to put more glitter. Boop, 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 boop. Like my fantastic sound effects. Let's just make it all nice and sparkly. I don't know about you, but I love glitter. Lots of glitter. I don't know how to sing. Just ignore me. Yeah, lots of glitter. That's the way to go. Especially with this look. You, if you like... Um, this is kind of like a mermaid set is what I'm going for. Well, that's pretty good. Take your nice little silicone pen. You can get these on Amazon. They're cheap. When I learn how to put links on to my page, I will start showing you what exact products I am using. Let's get this all smashed down. Smash, smash, smashers. Ooh, it's so pretty. This does not do it justice, but it is gorgeous. Okay, let's cure this. Let's cure this bad boy. All right, so now that you have seen this wonderful video that's 37 minutes long of an ombre I will get faster I promise um please like if you like uh, if you like this video if you found it helpful please comment if you would like me to do anything else in specific I am going to start uploading more videos I do freehand artwork um this is now my new beginning of ombre and it is very pretty I'm going to upload one more video. After this, I'm going to use my dominant hand and finish up this set and make it look pretty. Thanks for watching. Bye.